Hello, I'm Jennifer of Scenic Route, located in Northwest Arkansas. This video is part two of the Santa Fe style dresser set. I will be demonstrating pattern layout and experimenting with a new technique. And I'll also create an ombre effect with old world accents. Plan out your pattern, keeping your drawer location in mind, and then measure and tape off your design. Construct your patterns using painter and masking tape and use spacers to keep things neat. For this diamond pattern, I wanted to mimic the texture of a woven blanket. I started with a darker color for the edges and then light in the center. With a spritz of water and a fan brush, I blended the two colors together with a light feathering motion. Now that the area where my spacer is, is dry, this design right here, I can go back and retape this part so I can do the lines right here. Highlighting the border with a single bright white really makes the technique stand out. Now we're ready to peel the tape off and see what we got. I think it looks good. Just be careful not to let the tape go and come back and hit your design where it's wet. I used three colors of the same family to create an ombre design. I used three different brushes for each color and then blending them into each other to create the gradient effect. DIY paint and water work well together. Ever so often I would dip the tip of my brush into the water making the blending look better. I felt like I needed to extend 
the colors into one another even further and so what I wanted to do was to dip my um, medium color brush into water and go back and forth a little bit more on up into itself and then also go back and take the medium color which is the faded burlap and go down and meet it further and just work until I'm happy with it by doing this you're actually creating new colors in between For the larger bottom drawers of the dresser, I wanted to highlight the center with a creamy white and add an old world touch around the bottoms and sides. I used larger brushes and started in the center. I went over the khaki color again around the edges and used a third brush to blend those two colors together with a spritz of water. If your blended brush gets too saturated, wipe onto a clean towel. Blend the highlighted area into the outer edges until you're happy with the look. Using a light touch, feather the edges into one another. To achieve the old world look, I use smaller art brushes and dip them into the darker brown. I was not careful, just apply it in a way to get the paint on and then dip my brush into the water to spread it out. DIY paint is highly pigmented, a little goes a long way. Use a larger brush for a more refined blend. I worked my way on up on each side of the dresser, going in all the nook and crannies, kind of give it a moody feel. I also use dry brushing techniques to highlight the details on this set. In video one, I showed you how I use DIY paint to hide the dowel rods we placed in the original drawer pool holes. Now I'll reveal the texture with a clean damp rag by wiping the paint to reveal the darker color underneath. You can do a little or a lot depending on how rustic you want it. With this set, when the paint was dry, I went over it with clear and then white and dark wax to highlight these details even more. In this video series, I'm featuring the awesome drawer pulls that I found on D Lawless Hardware. Stay tuned for part three, where I finalize this video series. And please check out all the ways you could buy your DIY paint, whether you're local here in Northwest Arkansas or online. As always, please subscribe and follow. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you on the scenic route.
Bye-bye.